I said, please, can I have some more space? It's fine. <laughs> sure, you can. Oh, it's, no, it it's video. Oh, okay. Hi. Uh, Look for yourself on YouTube. <laughs> cool. Uh, so about eight months later, in 1735, the trustees got tired, I suppose, of listening to this guy complain because they went ahead and built the front room there. They built the upstairs, which covers both those rooms. And of course, the staircase I'm living on made this a much more livable house. Now, I used to think that this section of the uh, pirate house, which is called the herb house, was not specifically haunted. I mean, the whole pirate house is haunted. There have been reports of activity in every room in this place down through the years. Um, but I found out about uh, 13 or 14 months ago, there's apparently a ghost particular to this portion of the pirate house. There was a lady having dinner here early one evening. After the meal, she was walking around taking photographs of pretty much everything. She was uh, standing in the hallway right over there. Took a photograph of that window, which if you guys haven't noticed, is missing a few panes of glass. And uh, in the photograph, she captured right here on the stairs behind me. Let me actually get out of the way so y'all can uh, see what I'm talking about. Pardon me. On that staircase, she captured the, for the lack of a better descriptive phrase, the ghostly image of a little boy. She didn't know what she'd gotten in the photograph because at this point her camera was old-fashioned. It actually still had film in it. So it wasn't until she uh, got home from vacation and got the photos back from the lab that she saw she might have captured a ghost. But when she saw it, she was really excited to mail a copy here. Before the photograph arrived, though, there was one Sunday evening, it was very late at night, only two people were left in the entire building. There was one of the kitchen managers, a guy named John, and one of the front of the house managers, a lady named Jessica, who had worked here for seven years, never had anything out of the ordinary happen to her, so she was very skeptical about this whole paranormal thing. But on this particular evening, she had counted all the money, she had done all the paperwork, the only thing she had left to do was make sure that all these lights were off and all the doors throughout the restaurant were locked. So she was coming down that hallway, turned the corner, and as she did, she looked through the window and saw on the stairs a little boy. And he didn't appear ghost. He wasn't pearly white, he wasn't translucent, nothing like that. He appeared as real and solid as we do, so her first thought